Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a video on our Philadelphia 76ers again slamming the Toronto Raptors led by Joe Embiid and the baller extraordinaire Tyrese Maximus. Again, Tyrese Maxi going bonkers ballistic. Didn't have the best first quarter, but guess who did? Joel, the process, should be the MVP and bead as he had a fantastic first quarter. Had 19 in the damn first. He had 19 in the whole first game. So, obviously, uh, he took it upon himself because Maxi did not take it. Well, not really didn't take it upon He just didn't ball out in the first and then balled out from the third onward. Uh, Toby also didn't ball out from the first, but then balled on, balled out and got a double double from the second onward. So it's all about being able to obviously answer and be able to continue to push and continue to adjust, which is exactly what the baller Tyrese Maxey and also Tobias Harris, who I've knocked and been horned on a ton in the past. You got to be confident in him right now for having back to back good games. And in this one, persevering, where in the regular season at times, we see when he's had a bad first, it kind of affect him through. Where in this game, in the playoffs, it didn't affect him through. So that is really nice to see uh, for Tobias Harris. Obviously, Pascal Siakam's going to get his. OG Ananobi's going to get his. Uh, Ram Fleet played 43 minutes. It took him that long to get 20, so I don't really look at that 20 anything big. <clears throat> um... And Siakam, it took him 40 to get 20 and then 38 minutes for the 26 by Ananobi. But I thought Ananobi um, also fired up some threes that were kind of just desperate at a certain times. Uh, the, the Raptors were never in this game. The Sixers just destroyed them. They manhandled them in this game. It was 23 points from actually 20 for Harris, 14 for James Harden, who didn't even play his best game, but just kind of mixed in there and stayed in the background and let everybody else carry. Danny Green also stepped up as well, which is freaking huge because if Danny Green can do what he did in this game in four or game three and game four, uh, that's massive because we do not have the ten minutes of Matisse Thibel in those games or whatever it was he played in the first game it was ten minutes yesterday, I think it might have been twelve to fifteen or whatever the hell it was in the first game. But we don't have that in games three and four because of his vaccination status. Now, whatever your opinion on that is not important at this point. What's important is just the fact that we don't have him uh, for those games, and we're going to need someone to step the hell up. And if Danny Green can play like he did in Game 2, that's huge because he's kind of looked like a real big shell of himself that's been a pain to watch uh, this year because of just how good. Danny Green's been a joy to watch his entire career this year. That's why it's been a pain to watch because he's looked like a shell of himself. But in Game 2... He actually looked more like the old school. No, ne He's never going to go back to being the old Danny Green, but he looked more like at least a fraction of that and not what we've seen most of this season. Um, but wrapping up this one, Shake still didn't do a heck of a lot. Paul Reed played a solid 10 minutes. Matisse did very good on defense, had three blocks um, as a guard. Obviously, he's great at blocking the ball down there, great at rebounds as a guard. The whole nine yards when it comes to defense. George Niang only played nine minutes and had five points, so that ain't too shabby either. But a um, Maxi again and Embiid with the carrying weights. And then Tobias Harris had a good game as well after the first quarter, as well with Tyrese Maxi after the first quarter. Embiid had 19 in the first quarter and finished with 31 and 11 for a double double, where Tyrese just missed a triple double at 23, 9, and 8. So it's a shame he couldn't get. Uh, one more uh, rebound and two more apples, but it is what it is. Either way, he played a hell of a game, a fantastic outing by Tyrese Maxey, um, and a fantastic outing by Joel Embiid. I would say Joel Embiid's the first star of this game, Maxey the second star, and Tobias Harris is the third star, where uh, James Harden is the honorable mention just because he kind of just fell, fit into place but didn't have to do a lot and didn't kind of overexert himself to kind of affect the lineup poorly like he's done in Houston in the past because he sees Maxi and what he can do. He saw Danny, or yeah, Danny Green step up. He saw Joel and B step up. He saw Toby after the first step up. So he figured, well, I don't need to do as much as usual here, as much as I have to do with some past teams I've been on. Let me kind of just take a step back, just like Joel. I don't think Joel even played a bad first game like some do. I think he just saw how freaking ridiculous Maxi was doing and said, I ain't getting in the way of that. Go ahead, kid, uh, be the dog that you are, um, and just basically stepped back, and I think that's kind of what Harden did 
in game two here when he saw how great Joel was balling. He saw that Tyrese was on triple-double watch, and he saw how good uh, Tobias was doing after the first frame. But that is just my view on this. Let me know what your thoughts are on the overall games and the first two games uh, as well as I, I did a video on <clears throat> um, the end of the first game as well. If you want to go back and check that out, hopefully I can get Andrew on soon so we can do a Sixers one with him. Our schedules haven't matched up the most squeaky cleanest uh, recently, but hopefully I can get him on. We did a Phillies one with him that I'll link at the end of this video as well to check that out with their woes to the start of the season that continued last evening against Chad Cole. But this has been a quick video on the Philadelphia 76ers, about six minutes long, as we recap the second game of the series, a fantastic smashing of the Toronto Raptors as the Sixers are up two games to nothing, baby, as this is kind of a team that I was a little worried about with how we played the Raptors in the um, season, not worried at all now, even without Matisse, the Doc, that's one of the good things he's actually done this season, um, which is um, rotating in uh, Danny Green there, that was actually a smart move to put him in because you know you're going to need him. Not that Danny Green is a guy that I love how he's played this year, but you're going to need him in three and four, and you're not going to be able to start Tease anyway, so you might as well put Danny in. That was actually a smart move in my book. But please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget to keep this channel growing to 2.30 or more by the end of April. We really do appreciate your guys' love and support. Stay safe out there, everybody, and enjoy the rest of the NBA playoffs and the round out to the hockey season where this team, unfortunately, ain't going anywhere. But you'll get to enjoy some playoff hockey of other teams. Peace out, everybody.